Students taking GCSE psychology in year 11 will sit two papers. So on the screen is a breakdown of what modules are included in the two papers. So paper one is an hour and 45 minutes and it's worth 98 marks. So you can see there are more sections in paper one. It is the units that students will have covered in year nine and year 10 with issues and debates, which are the nine mark questions, so the extended answer questions, there'll be two of those on the paper. For paper two, this is research methods and criminal and sleep and dreaming are the units that students will complete in year 11. So this one doesn't have a specific issues and debates section, but it is in with the different sections in the paper. And it's a shorter one that is an hour and 20 minutes and is worth 79 marks. We have included our emails on this slide just in case there's any questions if anybody wants to email those through to us. We have included the curriculum director, which is Miss Sleaford on there, but for subject specific questions, it is myself, Miss Smith and Miss Bissett who do teach year 11. So you might want to direct your questions um, if it's about content to us. So the key dates for GCSE psychology. We have our mock assessments coming up, which is they will do a paper one. The students in year 11 have completed all of the modules for paper one so far, so they can have a full go at the paper. And that is on Tuesday the 23rd, and it's between period three and period four. We will also ask students to sit a paper one and a paper two when they've completed the content um, for sleep and dreaming, and that will be more towards March time. We will let the students know when we have a specific date for that one it's not decided but it will be the week commencing the 7th of march somewhere um, in that week for interventions we are starting a drop-in session so on tuesdays after school for half an hour it, it can be more than that if students um, need to save some some extra time but myself and miss Bissett will be staying in school to help students if they want any extra support so these are not going to be structured revision sessions but more where students can come to us with questions or if they want help on an extra topic, things that they have identified that they would like, maybe a little bit extra um, explaining um, or keywords sort of explaining to them and we can help them out um, in that half an hour on the Tuesday. The exams for GCSE Psychology, we've got the two papers, they are the 17th of May and the 6th of June, so there is a little bit of time between paper one and paper two um, for students to prepare for that next paper. We do have quite a lot of revision materials available. The there is one textbook which I've put a picture on the screen. That one um, you can get from Edexcel directly or from Amazon. Just be wary when buying the textbook that this is a new specification. So the one that looks like on the screen, that's the front cover. That is the one for this course. Other textbooks might not be as relevant because they may be for either a different exam board or for the old spec, so it does need to be this, this blue covered one. There are lots of resources that we've got available on Teams. There are a few that students have already been given, um, like the Key Studies booklet, but it's on Teams if they um, have misplaced it or if it's gone missing, we can print some more of those off. But we have the PowerPoints that we've used in lessons, all of those are uploaded. We've got some checklists, some knowledge organisers that break down um, the different parts. We've got one per topic and they can have a look at those um, sort of to check what they do and what they don't know. We've got some work through revision booklets. We've got some bronze, silver, gold questions so students can get. We've got laminated copies per each topic where they can look at bronze, so sort of defining questions, then some silver, maybe some gold questions, given evaluation points so they can tailor that um, sort of to what their needs are for revision. We've got some gap fill A3 sheets, more sort of keyword um, knowledge for those, again, all printable from Teams. And like I said, the students do have the key studies booklet, um, or they, they've got copies of those in their work booklets anyway, can, we can print those off. They're all on Teams. We're not necessarily going to print everything off for the students, but they're all there if they do want to print them off themselves. We, we may do class sets of some things. Um, like I said, they're all there to have a look at online or at home.